Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Among Vanshika and today's makeup look is gonna be inspired by Sonam Kapoor. I saw this picture online which was her look that she was wearing for the Film Fair Awards that happened in 2016. So she had um, absolutely straight hair which were parted in the center and for her makeup she had a very nude lip and black smoky eye going on so that's what I'm gonna do. So all I did is I just parted my hair into two sections and now I'm parting it into another two, splitting it into to another two and I'm just going to blow dry it straight using a paddle brush and my hair dryer. So continue doing that on all four sections. So if you see I just use the paddle brush in going in the downward direction and then I use the dryer in the same direction to smooth my hair out and one side is done I'm just gonna be back after doing the other side and I'm just gonna use some Tony and Guy shine spray through my hair so that they look nice and glossy hair are pretty much done nothing major cracking on the face now using my face and body foundation by makeup forever I'm gonna apply a very 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 thin layer on my face and I'm just gonna blend it out using a buffer brush this is a PAC brush I don't even know where I got it from but I love it it's round and fat and it blends everything really well as always I use groundwork paint pot to prep my eyes so that all the eye makeup that I'll be doing stays right in place to groom my brows today I'll be using mystery eyeshadow and a small angled brush and I'm just gonna fill the gaps in comb it out make them look nice and clean and just give them that nice look where they're looking even and all filled in Set them in place using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow set, you call it, I think. This is my favorite one. Now I'm going to start patting on some deep, dark, blackest black eyeshadow. I think the one that I used for this video is Carbon by MAC. Any black eyeshadow would do in one of your palettes, but make sure that it's completely matte. It has no shine through it. Using my fluffy brush to blend the edges out, I'm making sure that I don't take the black above the crease. So if you'll see, I just put it till where my crease is and then I use the fluffy brush to blend it over my crease so that it does not go too high and it stays nice and rounded. I don't want to give a very strong angle to the smoky eye. I want it to be a nice, smooth, sexy, rounded shaped smoky eye. So I put some coal on my lower lash line in, and on the lower waterline and I'm really, really smoking it out. Make sure you soften all the edges out, make it look nice and clean. And then use um, a neutral toned eyeshadow. I think the one I used is Kid by MAC and I blended everything in place. Open up the look, I used Smolder Eye Pencil by MAC. Any you can use, even the Revlon Black Coal is really lovely. You can use that as well or you could use the Maybelline Glossal Pencil. Any, any which are soft and jet black. So I use that to deepen up the black. To add that little bit of shine that she had going on, I'm using Naked Eyeshadow by MAC again. Wow, a lot of MAC going on in this video. So yeah, I used some of that with my ring finger and just dabbed it in the center and blended out to the edges. I also put some of that on my inner tear duct. Curled my lashes and time to smack on lots of mascara. Using falsies by Maybelline, coat your lashes really, really well. I'm going to skip falsies because she wasn't wearing falsies in the image I could tell. So I'm just going to put lots and lots of mascara to get that very, very sexy, smoky look going on. Eyes are pretty much done. I did the other eye off camera. I'm going to clean up my face and conceal it a little bit more using my Super Base in FS45 by Krylin. I used a little bit of it on a fluffy brush and just start to blend it on um, my blemishes and problem areas on my face. So mostly, as always, you if you guys have seen me before or my videos before, you know that my cheeks are the real issue. So I get a lot of pigmentation and pimples and marks on my cheek. cheek. So I went ahead and just kept on concealing the areas that needed a little bit extra coverage. So I used my 224 brush by MAC and I'm making sure that everything looks nice and blended and softened up. Used uh, some translucent powder by Krylin on a fat round blush brush and I am so if you see I first like to just pack the powder in and then I use swirling motions to blend it all off. Time to bronze up the face and add a little bit more shape and structure to it using my Sephora bronzer 
and I'm going to start sculpting out my cheeks a little bit. So apply it to your cheekbones and start blending. So I'm not going to add any blush to it. This is going to be my blush. So this I'm going to use as a um, contour as well as a blush. And uh, that's my dance moves on work, 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 work. <laughs> I love that song. Oh my god, Rihanna is killing it. Rihanna and Drake forever. Uh, okay, digressing completely. So I contoured my face real well and then I'm using, um, which highlighter is it? This is Ghana by MAC and I'm using it to hit it on the high points of my face. Per usual, the um, under the brow highlight, on the tip of the nose, Cupid's bow, etc, etc. You know the drill. So I'm just gonna do that nice nude pinky nude lip so it was not even like a completely brown nude it was sort of like a pinky nude that she was wearing and it was really soft and pretty so i'm using this miss claire pencil it is completely inexpensive and a wonderful i love this it's a very good dupe for the um, for spice by mac and i'm using another one by Cryolin. this is in a light pinkish shade and i'm going to add it to the center of the lid and just kind of blend it to the edges so that it kind of looks a little bit three-dimensional and use a little bit of that naked eyeshadow just to the center of the lid and that's it guys the look is complete stay hydrated i drink a ton of this green tea by lipton the cold green tea it's yummy absolutely try it and you're done your smoky eye is complete new lip is looking good and um, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this look thank you so much i'm gonna see you all next time bye